March 14th of this year, Olama came out with a blog article and they announced Olama now supports AMD graphics cards. I was pretty excited about that because I use an AMD graphics card and I thought, great, I'm good to go. But on closer inspection, they have a list of the graphics cards that are supported. You might want to take a close look at this because your graphics card might not be supported. And if it's not in this list, then Olama is not going to take advantage of it. And I was kind of in that spot myself. There's also in the Olama docs, it has a section here of GPUs and what is supported. If we scroll down to AMD Radeon, I'm running an AMD Radeon 6750 XT. That is not on the list, unfortunately. So that's kind of a downer, but there are, and it has some overrides that you can try on Linux, but again, I'm on Windows. So if you're in the same spot, then I want to show you today a workaround where you might be able to get a llama to utilize your older AMD cards or an AMD card that is not on the list as officially supported. So on the troubleshooting page, it does give you some information on AMD GPU discovery, but it's really for Linux. So if you are running this in Linux, uh, there's some things you can try to force it, um, you know, things you can check and also some things uh, which we're back on here where you could override, force it to override. If your GPU card is not supported, you can find some good information in your Olama log file. Especially you can find the GPU type, which you'll need to know later. The solution to our problem is to install a different version of Olama. There is a GitHub repository from Like Love Want. They forked Olama and created Olama for AMD and made some changes. The purpose is to run on AMD graphics cards that, that are not officially supported. We're going to look here uh, and they have some examples of a list from this repo, repo. And if you remember, what we needed was one that was 1031, which is not officially supported up here. They have 1030, but not 1031, not 1032, and so on. This should allow a llama to use our GPU. Okay, but before we get started, just a few words, I think, of uh, caution. So I think it's a good idea before you do something like this to create a Windows system restore point. So I would do that first. Second, I think it's important if you have had Olama running already and up and going, it's probably a good idea to go in to this, uh, wherever your Olama model files are. In this case, it should be something like C users and this variable name, username, dot Olama. Okay. All right. So once you're in there, I would just back up that whole dot olama folder uh, somewhere because when you when you uninstall llama it's going to uninstall that and if you've had to download these models before they're some of them very very huge so you don't want to have to do that again if you can help it unless you got a super fast connection that you don't care but uh, something you might consider i have created a system restore point and i have uninstalled llama all right, we're at Like, Love, Want, Olama for AMD GitHub page, and we're looking at their wiki page. I think there's some confusion out there, so I want to clear this up first. I saw a couple pages online that was telling people how to get Olama for AMD running on Windows, and I noticed on both of those pages, and they're, they're good articles, except there's one thing that they had wrong. They were telling people the first thing you have to do is to download rock M. and that is not necessary unless you're going to go through this development part like if you're going to build your own Alama for your graphics cards and, and you know clone this and, and build it here at the end then yeah you you do need to install hip the hip SDK and uh, but but if you're not the best thing to do is to scroll on down and just install this demo release version. So in this section, there's a link that goes right to their releases. 
So if we open up the release part, you can just get the latest release and download and install llama setup.exe. Now when I clicked on the llama setup.exe, I did get this warning from Microsoft Defender and we can click it's because it's an unknown, pub, unknown publisher. Uh, so we're going to click Run Anyway. If you installed a llama before, it's going to look the same. And we have it down here in our system tray, running. And the next thing you're going to have to do is replace some of these RockM libraries. And they make it real easy because there are pre-built RockM libraries here and again, there is a link to this. You just have to know which GPU model to target. RockM is an open source software stack developed by Advanced Micro Devices. Okay, so it's made for the GPU programming part of it. Just a, a fun fact, uh, RockM originally stood for, it was supposed to represent Radeon Open Compute Platform. But Open Compute was registered trademark, so AMD just kind of dropped that acronym and now refers to RockM just simply as their open source stack. It shows the official AMD RockM supported GPUs, and um, we already know ours is not supported. We can take a look at this, and it shows a matrix down here. We are going to want to flip over here uh, to the AMD Radeon. You may have a pro, but we do not. So we're going to see if it's supported. The HIP SDK column is what we're going to be looking at and I know that mine in particular is a 6750 right XT and it's a no-go and that is the GFX 1031 and uh, so yours may be different but you're going to look for it in the list here and so you want to note this uh, LLVM target as well you need to know that Click on this link to get your pre-built library. And we're going to want to get the one for our specific card. So you want to make sure you know your target. And ours was 1031, so we have a couple options here. Go down here and grab that. And we're going to let that download as well. Uh, it also says you may have to build your Rock Blast. And if you're wondering what the BLAS stands for, it is basic linear algebra subprograms. This is where you're probably going to end up putting these files. Well, it's one file and also the uh, library folder. You're gonna replace both of those. All right, so we're gonna walk you through that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. This was for the GFX 1031, which was for my card. We're gonna want to open up Olama Lib. So this is in the local, uh, like your username, local programs, Olama, Lib, Olama. Okay, so we're, so this is where we're going to want to replace this particular DLL here. And uh, instead of overwrite it, I am going to just rename it. And that's just me. Do what you want. And I'm going to it over here I'm going to copy that in and the same thing in this folder here there's a library that I'm going to do the same thing to um, basically the instructions say to overwrite that which is fine too um, and I'm going to um, copy that in here as well once that's done you are good to code there are some notes that you might want to go through if that it may affect some of you with different cards it tells you how you can run it or we'll just run it like we usually do really uh, with llama i do want to point out one thing update carefully it says if you're using this demo release like we just talked about do not click the update button if a llama prompts you to what you'll do is you'll go back up here and you'll download uh, the release manually if there's a new one out and another thing that is available is uh, this Byron Lee uh, has a GitHub with a Llama for AMD installer. You could install and update a Llama and the Rockim libraries. There's also a way to fix an error that can sometimes crops up. So, yeah, 
that is a pretty neat handy little utility and again shout out to all the people in this fine community so very very cool that they do that make sure and restart you can restart your computer or you can just probably restart Olama. Uh, I have a command window open here now because I've already restarted uh, Olama. And we're going to see here, just kind of test some things out, look at the version. Um, and remember, make sure that you restore your model files. If you backed them up earlier, you don't want to have, to, it'll try to pull them from the server if you have not done that. Uh, so make sure that I do have mine here. Yep, so I restored those already into that dot .olama file. Remember that is in, uh, it would be in this user's username variable here, right? And then dot .olama, uh, that's where the model files are kept. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to type olama run Lama 3 uh, and again we're going to go verbose on this um, actually we're probably it doesn't matter we're going to run this anyway and then back out of it and look at some uh, look and see if it's loaded in the GPU instead of CPU this time so here's loading it in the memory remember that first time takes a little bit okay so I'm just going to exit out of here and let's do olama ps and 100% gpu that's what we're looking for okay so that's good news if you want to see the shocking results of running llama 3 on my gpu check out my improving olama performance video i'll see you next time take care